Hello everyone. I'm trying to get comfortable. I can't get comfortable today. What does anybody have on here? I'm trying to get myself situated. Best I can anyway. I'm like so cold. Look, I have like my hedgehog blanket. Like that's what I have on right now because I'm so cold. <laughs> And I was going to make tea, and then all of a sudden, it was noon, so that didn't happen just yet. So, I'm just me being cold. Hello, Amber. Look, I was showing off my, look, I'm really cold right now. I was showing off my hedgehog blanket. Look how cute. So, yeah, I'm sitting here with a blanket on, and that's what's happening, and we're all just going to accept it, because it's freezing out right now. Gosh, all right. <laughs> It's just cozy. That's all that matters. And, it, you know, the hedgehogs help. It helps. So, what do we... Oh, we are at the last Monday of the month. We are moving fast into December. Um, and into the craziness of the holiday season. Um, so, there is that. And today is also Cyber Monday. Woo! Cyber Monday. Yeah, see, that's perfect. I just, I would say, I meant to go make a cup of tea and I totally lost track of time. So it was too late and I didn't make my tea. But that's okay because now I will do it right after. <clears throat> but, um, hey, Callie. So, yeah, so today, um, Cyber Monday. So there's that, all those good sales, definitely. Make sure to head over to thecardomancer.com. The link is in the bio afterwards um, to see what our sales we have going on, what sales we have going on, because we got a lot of good ones. So you definitely want to do that. Um, they are up. They're ready to go. And I'll make a post to remind everyone after as well. So that is always super exciting. Get your 2022 started off right with your subscri ugh, subscription, if I can say it. Just get you magazines. That's all you have to do. So what do we got going on this week? Um, I actually was like, I had to get up super early this morning because my son had an appointment in Albany and I'm in New York and that's like an hour south of me. Well, got up, got going, couldn't get down my damn driveway. <laughs> it was snowing. It was ice and I'm just like, mm. okay, here we are. Happy Monday to me. So we did not make it to set appointment, and that means I got up and showered pretty freaking early for no reason. So it's been rescheduled all as well, but still, how annoying is that? Like, I'm, I'm not even mad so much about not being able to get down my driveway. It's that I, got, I woke up super early and I showered and everything at a super early time. I'm not a morning person. I never have been, but I used to, um, when I was working in nursing, I used to work nights. And so I'm forever, yeah, very true, Callie, very true. Um, I'm, I'm so, I'm such a night owl and Amber will know this because she's always like, why aren't you in bed? I'm like, I want to be in bed. My brain's like, go to bed, but it just doesn't happen. So yeah. Hey, Lisa. So yeah, no, it is. It's one of those things. It's just crazy. So I don't know. We were up, the makeup was on, but I'm tired. So I may just have to just like nap in my chair so I don't like mess up my makeup. Is that what I have to do? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's let's talk about what we got going on. So on Friday, um, we have the new moon in Sagittarius, which also happens to be a total solar eclipse. So this is a very, very like <clears throat> big reset time. Um, these are like, I think it's like the, the past, it's reset like the past from like 18 months, I think it was. So there's a lot, um, you know, a lot you can really work with, with this new moon. Um, so definitely be sure to take advantage of it. And then you got that Sag Sagittarius energy kind of pushing you into it. So it's definitely, um, intense. It's, it's very intense, but not in a way that you need to be afraid of. It's like in a way that you know you can work with this and you can get stuff done. And you know, it's great time too to kind of 
also make it your what your lookout for 2022 is, right? Like what things do you need to resolve and then get them out of the way and deal with them now this month so that when you hit 2022, you kind of have that fresh slate. So it's like perfect timing. And, um, you know, today actually we have the moon is in Libra today. So it's just a very chill energy, just like relationships, just talking to people, you know, having fun with people that you're around and all that. Safira, hello. So yeah, so there's that. Um, <clears throat> and also to, um, you know, we're going to also move into the moon in Scorpio. So when that happens kind of midweek, that's kind of the emotional part of the relationships are going to be popping up. So definitely pay attention to that. And if you see that creeping up, then you'd be like, okay, I can redirect this. And it's all about being mindful, right? And we all, you know, we all blab on about all the stars and what means what and all of that. And it's really just kind of a guide. Like, it's really about being mindful and then knowing your emotions and knowing what to do with them and maybe why they're happening. Because sometimes, you know, we feel things and we don't know why. But if uh, depending where these things are in your chart, that might be why it's popping up for you. And just recognizing that really helps too. Um, so when the moon really starts going into Sagittarius on um, the 3rd, on Thursday, um, that's a great day to, to release and prepare for the new moon. So really just the, with the energies that day, perfect day to do that. So definitely something to keep in mind for sure. So it's really like this solar eclipse, all of a sudden my allergies are really bad, which makes no sense to me because it's snow everywhere. But yeah, mindful actions. And it's really about making a breakthrough too. this, the eclipse new moon, because it also is um, hanging out with, um, I believe it's hanging out with the north node as well, if I remember correctly. Like I start reading all this stuff through and then it all just like plops in my head in one blob and then I, I can't remember what's what. But um, so this actually this new moon in the solar eclipse in Sagittarius is the last one in its sign for the next nine years. So it's bringing new um, beginnings um, and then a new cycle. Yeah. So really something to think about for sure. So we also um, have Madame Panita. She is going to, yeah, okay, good. I'm glad it's not just me, Lisa, because I'm like, I took so much allergy medicine and I'm like, how is this still bothering me? And of course, it's always my throat, <clears throat> you know, and I talk all the time. I mean, I talk a lot anyway, but you know, like on here. So silly. So actually, what do we, well, Thursday, Madam Pamita will be on here. Um, we'll be chatting with her. Um, and that's at 11 Pacific and 2 Eastern. Um, I'm really excited. Um, I absolutely love her. I am, love her candles and all the things that she does. So I'm really excited to be chatting with her and getting to know her a little bit better. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So be sure to um, tune into that. Um, have your notifications on for this page. That's really important too, because like when I'm posting these sales, when we're posting the people that are coming up, um, or just anything we have really going on, that's the best way to make sure you're getting it. And also follow us on the things. You know, if you're not following us on Facebook, you definitely want to do that. Twitter, um, TikTok, where else are we? YouTube, because when, you know, we do have our replays on here, but they all really live in YouTube. So if you don't follow us on YouTube, you want to get over there and do that too. Um, and then what else do I have? Oh, well, uh, we are actually going to be doing a lot of new fun stuff for um, in the beginning of the new year. We're going to be bringing some fun things. So you definitely want to, you don't want to miss out on it. So let's get to our readings. Today, I'm going to use the Little Prince Tarot um, just because it's a really cute deck. And I feel like this deck just didn't get enough attention. I used to love the Little Prince. I love, love, love. So as soon as I saw this, I knew I had to have it. I think I used it in the summer on here. But it's really, really cute. And then the deck that I want to use for our Oracle deck is the Botanical Inspirations. And I just received this. Um, US Games sent me a couple of decks. So I have to review them. And then my nose is cheap. And so I will be doing that as well. I did the botanical inspirations already over on Stardust Wanderer Tarot. Um, 
there's some reviews over there and I'm gonna probably do like a flip through or something to put on here I'm thinking I think that's what I'll do and then I have some other ones too I have in dreams Oracle deck and guidebook see they're still in the package I haven't even done it and then I have Ciro Marchetti tarot so I have to do these Ooh, it looks so good with the sparkles so these two I have to go through and review still and do all that but you can they all live over on Stardust Wonder Tarot and I also um just posted a new card over on my page so for my deck um we're about halfway through I'm really, I'm excited for it. Um, but i am tell you this weekend, we, we had the judgment card and I were having issues. We were having issues. He wanted to smite everybody and I didn't want that to happen. And, and Amber, I'm sending it to Amber. And I'm like, what is going on here? So I think we finally have it fixed. I'm just waiting for my artist to send it over. But man, and my, um, for my judgment card, it's Zeus. Because they're all just, they're all like different gods and goddesses. They're space pirates. It's all sorts of things. But Zeus is angry, so we need to chill him out. So yeah, so that was that. If you want to check out my cards, you can go over there. Stardust Wanderer as well. So yeah, let's get started here. Um, for anyone that just hopped on, yes, like Amber said, thank you for being here. And also um, Thursday, Madame Pamita will be on here with me Um at 11 Pacific and 2 Eastern, so it'll be fun. Um, and I'm using the Little Prince Tarot and Botanical Inspirations, so enough of my ramblings. Let's get going. This is what happens, like you make me wake up early. World, darn it. So let's, let's start. That brings us to right at the top. We got Aries, so Aries. What we got for you today? Now, I, one fun thing, I, I, the reason really I like to do this too is do it by the um, zodiac sign is so, you know, everybody kind of gets a card. And then also too, you could take it and you can use your rising and your moon sign and your sun sign and really just kind of like curate your own little reading for the week with all of that different, you know, all of the different energy from your um, signs. And that's a really fun thing to do too. And actually the reason I thought of that, because I have an Aries moon. So that's what made me think of it. I have a lot of fire in my chart. Does that surprise anyone? All okay. right. They are ready, these cards. All right. So Aries, we have the four of swords. We're just starting it right off here. Excuse me. So we have the four of swords. So rest. This week is just about rest and rejuvenating. And, you know, like I said, we have the solar eclipse, um, new moon coming up. So a lot of energy. And that maybe for you, Aries, maybe you're doing a lot of releasing before you're starting this new cycle and stepping into this. Maybe there are things coming up for you that you just need to kind of let it go. <laughs> of course you do, Lisa. Of course. I love it. Um, so that's something to think about, you know, maybe for you this week, there are some things popping up that are really, um, you know, things that you know that you had to release, but you haven't been. Um, and this, this, you know, eclipse moon, new moon is really like, okay, time to let go because you know what? There's a new cycle starting and you definitely have new things on the horizon, but you have to let go of this stuff first. Hey guys. So that is definitely what we got for you, Aries. So now we're going to pull a botanical card. So these cards are all Victorian um, uh, art cards, like flowers and stuff like that, which I love these. I love these. So let's see what card we get. We got a tulip for friendship and gratitude. So there you go. I love that. So Aries, maybe that's even for you, part of your contemplating, part of your taking a moment and stepping back is giving gratitude too. Because, you know, when we show gratitude, the universe knows that we're ready to receive. So now that we're moving into that new moon, maybe that's what you need to do. You need to just take it, take it down a step and just be grateful for what you have, right? I love that. Yes, Aries, got this. 
my very moony Aries gets it too. All right, so now that brings us, oh, I love that. Oh, that's so cute. I'm trying to get a kitty. I've actually never had a kitty before. I've had other animals, but my husband's allergic. But I'm trying to still get one. I'm trying. I'm like, we could do this. You'll be all right. People grow out of allergies. So I'm like, just believe that you're out of it and you'll be fine. <laughs> so if anyone wants to send me a kitten that just shows up at my door, I'll just have to have, I'll have to keep it, right? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. He puts out with all my things. I am quite the handful. Sometimes. I know I do need a kitten. I do. I really want one. I was even looking at like a Devon Rex because they are like hypoallergenic, you know? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. And there is actually, um, there's a place near us that has them and has one right now. And I'm just like, look how cute I need him. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. So where does that? We didn't even get past Aries yet. Wow. Okay. Taurus. All right, Taurus. We have the Eight of Pentacles. And for you, it's what are you sowing this week? As in sowing your seeds. What seeds are you planting? Um, this is like the perfect card. And I love that it's also like in the earth because Taurus is earth energy, right? And it's so perfect for this Taurus um, week. So really for you, Taurus, digging down, you know, digging deep into the earth. And that may even mean into yourself as well. And see, maybe there were seeds that you planted that you didn't give enough attention to in, within yourself that now maybe it's time. Maybe it's ready to really blossom and come out. Um, and I feel like that could come out in like, are there new endeavors that you want to do? New things creatively, business ideas um, maybe new habits or stuff like, you know, just stuff like that. What is it that you really wanted to start at some point, but kind of got buried down by everything else that now you can unearth. So dive deep there, Taurus. What do you, what do you got going on? See what flower we got. So we have the pink rose, grace and sweetness. So I think to, um, Taurus that for you with this, and, you know, this is the back of the card, too. Look how cute. You know how he has his little rose? Look, we got a rose. Two roses. So, um, Taurus, I think with you, it is all about that, um, you know, really just, you know, digging into it and just looking and seeing and being graceful about it, too, because there are things that we want to start and we really have great intentions, but sometimes it falls through. And then we just, we're hard on ourselves about it. So I think it just really important for you to, to, to do this in a graceful way and just give yourself that space. So that could really, you know, and, and because we are in that new beginning, new cycle, you know, phase right now, maybe that is a part of your new cycle. Maybe there's a reason why you have to start really digging and looking and just kind of sifting through. And, you know, sometimes too, it isn't something that's going to work out or you changed and it's not something you want anymore and you need to release it. Again, it's all about making more room. All right. So that's Gemini. Next to Gemini. And anyone that just joined us, hello, welcome. Um, make sure also to check on our website, cardamancer.com. The link is in the bio because we do have some sales going on for Cyber Monday. And you definitely, you don't want to miss out on it. I'm just saying. It's a good idea to check it out after we're done here, though. So... Let's see. We are on Gemini. And what do we have? All right, Geminis. We have the Ten of Wands. Oh, wow. I'm looking at this card. This is very dramatic. This is a very dramatic pose. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like somebody should recreate this card. I don't know why, but that was the first thing that popped in my head. So, Ten of Wands, Gemini. I feel like here that it's almost like you've gotten yourself, like you have too many hands in like all the baskets, like, or just everywhere. Like you have so much going on that it's becoming too overwhelming for you. 
And this be, can be a physical thing, like you just physically are taking on too many tasks or mentally, like you're just, you're thinking like, you know, it's funny because my husband's a Gemini and I always tell him that his road is, or his brain is like a 10 road highway. So I always tell him, like I can tell when he's, like this is very fitting, this is probably him right this moment. And I always tell him, you know, pick a lane, what are you thinking about? Because I know that there's just so many things going on. So I think that's really what this is, Gemini. Like you have, it's time for you to pick a lane and focus on that and not try to focus on everything going on. Just pick one thing. I'm going to make him listen to that. See, like, see, you should listen. So the card we got, well, an information card. That wasn't the one I wanted. Um, Violet. So faithfulness and modesty. So I like that too. I think that's just really about, again, like just that modesty, like when you're, you know, when you're being modest, you're just kind of drawing it in and just, you know, not doing too much. So I think that's where that modesty is coming in for you. It's like, yeah, you can do it. It's not that you can't do all the things. It's right now. It's really important you just to focus on maybe, maybe one, maybe two things. If you can't, you can't know how to down. So Gemini, Really think about where your focus is this week. And if you'd like me to pull a card for you, you can go ahead. If you're on a phone, you can use the little um, question mark bubble over here on the, by the comment, or you could just type it into the comments. And I will grab it. But right now, we're gonna move on to Cancer and see what they have for us, for our Cancers. We have the Five of Wands. So Cancer, for you, it's all about choosing your battles wisely this week. Now, remember I said like that middle of the week, we're going to have that like Tuesday-ish, I think it is, what, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, around there is that Scorpio energy. We're going to be in that Scorpio mood. So it's going to be about, you know, that relationships, but it's going to be it could get nitpicky. It could get, you know, a little heated. So be mindful of that this week, Cancers, just throughout your week, because if you're getting so caught up in these stupid little things, you know, in these arguments and um, just like, I don't know, I just keep seeing like nitpicky things. Like if somebody's nitpicking or you're nitpicking someone else, you're going to miss the whole point of the energy of this week. And you're, go you're not going to be able to really focus and concentrate on what you want to bring in. So don't sweat the small stuff, Cancers. That's what I have for you. All right, I see we have a question and I'm just gonna pull a flower here. So, hello, hello. I know, dude, yeah. All right, so that brings us to our Oracle card for Cancer. And we got uh, Clematis, um, or Clematis. I am terrible at pronouncing things, so I really just like to like throw myself right into it. So intelligence and mental beauty. So I kind of love that too for mental beauty, right? I was saying like, don't get nitpicky. Don't get stuck in like, choose your battles wisely, right? Cancer. So mental beauty, like make your mind a happy, pretty place. Not, do not get stuck in the, in the yuck for a very official term. So that went very well. All right. Let's see what our question is here. Um... All right, Lisa, what's going on in my day today? All right, what is your energy of the day? Let's see. Let's see what the Little Prince has to say about it. Did anybody watch the Little Prince cartoon? I mean, I'm kind of dating myself by saying that, but I want to know. I want to know if anybody else watched this because I feel like there's always these shows that come on and I'm the only one that knows what the show is, but somebody had to have watched the Little Prince cartoon. Come on, don't leave me hanging here. All right, Lisa, we have the scent of, scent, blah. Seven of Pentacles. So for you, it's, you know, I think it's just, you're just kind of taking stock today, you know, just kind of seeing where you're at, what you need to do, um, and really just, you know, I feel like it's like also like checking off little things. I think today would be a really good for you, a really good day for you to um, get some of those little to do's off your list um, because you have everything's kind of brewing right now and it's in a good space. So just getting rid of all that little naggy stuff that you haven't been doing in a while or you've been putting off, I think that would be a really good idea for you, Lisa, to do. 
So yeah, definitely. Hello, hello. Oh, my little weird, my little wave button sometimes doesn't pop right thing. So yeah, so yes, check off. There you go. Perfect. It's the perfect day for you, Lisa, to do that. Yep. I think that's where it needs to go. All right, so where am I? Leo. Leos. Where am I? Leos. All right, Leos. Let's do this. Oh, I just saw the world card. It's really cute. I'll grab it if I find it again. All right, let's see. So Leo's the queen of swords. Yeehaw, Leo's. You know what? I, I And I, I love this for you, Leo's. It's time, you know, you tend to try to put out all the fires and fix all the things. And... Sometimes you just do it in a very quiet way. You know, you're just like, all right, I know I could fix it and I'll do it. But I really think for you, Leo, it's important for you to voice your opinion. It's time to speak up. It's time to say the things because um, these situations around you, even though that you're putting out the little fires and you're taking care of it the best you can, they're not going to change unless you say something and you say it in a clear and direct way not like oh well you know well this would be good if you no you need to really just you know just stand in that and really get going um yeah i guess so callie right like leo's you need to be listening because this is the second week we've gotten this card for you there is that um you know and it, and again it's almost like with the gemini's like we know that we can do all the things and we know that we could do it and just not say anything, but that doesn't make it right. That doesn't make it the best for you. So you need to really, if you have that gut feeling like I really need to say something, then you need to do it. It's so, so important for you because again, it's that moving that energy because if we stay and we just fix all the things all the time, like it keeps you in like that stagnant energy. Because, and it's like that revolving cycle, right? And that, and the, the universe is just like, oh, they're cool. They'll just keep fixing it. So we're just going to keep spinning. But if you stand, you know, stand and, and speak clearly and know what your demands are and really start trying to move that energy, then things will flow so much easier for you. Like it'll make, it'll make your life easier, Leo's. So pay attention to that. All right. What flower did you get? Let's see. All right. We have the garden heliotrope. So devotion and dreams fulfilled. Oh, I love that. And I think with that, it really has to do again. Like you want your dreams fulfilled. You want things to be going the way that you planned and you really had hoped. You need to move some of that energy. And by doing that is just speaking, you know, your truth. So, I don't know, Leos. I can only say it so many ways. It's up to you now. It's up to you to take it. All right. Before, let's get our question in here. <clears throat> of course you can, eyelash fight. <clears throat> and I apologize. I'm going to get my throat is like, my allergies are not fun. They're not cooperating. <clears throat> All right, we had a jumper for you, eyelash fight. Let's see what you you got here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, guys. All right, so we have ah, well, thank you, Amber. Um, we have the nine of cups for you, eyelash fight. So things are looking up. Things are looking good for you. You are in a good headspace, and I feel like it's like keep that momentum and keep it going. What changes have you made lately that have been working for you, right? Because it may have been a habit. It may have been you speaking up or it may have been just changing um, a small daily habit. So I think whatever it is that you're really doing right now, whatever, anything that you've changed recently, keep going because it is working for you. And also, don't be afraid to build on that. Um, one thing I always tell people too, it's like one of the things like saying no, right? It's so, it's hard for us to say no. We are conditioned to not just say no. We're just like, yeah, we'll do it. It's fine. Even though we're, we know that the other person's fully capable, but I always love to tell people like, just say no to little things and then build on it. 
because it'll get easier and easier. So I feel like that's what that's what your message is there, eyelash fight. That was a good one. All right, so then that brings us to our Virgos. All right, Virgos. I got a jumper. So these cards are jumpy, very jumpy. So we got the Ace of Pentacles. What a great card for you, Virgos, because we are so, that is like what we got going on this week, right? You're very welcome. And look at this cute little flower, the little rose. So what is it that you really want? What is it that you want? What cycles also do you want to also put an end to? Um, use this new moon energy, use this eclipse energy, really, <clears throat> to help you um, move forward because it's time. Like, you are ready. Even though you don't feel ready, um, you are ready. And sometimes, like, when we are ready to jump into something new, you know, we get scared, we get anxious, and then we want to retract. And that's, like, the time we're like, okay, well, this is scary. I'm not going to do it, right? No. That's the time you jump into it. Like, one of my things, like, if I am nervous about something, if it makes me feel nauseous, I'm like, okay, I have to do it. And I, and I do it. And, and then you do it. But... I, you could so easily just be like, oh, all right, this is scary. I'm just going to not do it and go watch Netflix. No, there it goes. It's time for you. Like, take advantage. This energy is just waiting. The new abundant energy. So go towards the light. To work away from the light. We're not Caroline, you know. <laughs> Sorry, it had to happen. Just did. Right? All right. So let's see what flower you get, a violet. So faith, faithfulness and modesty. So I think here um, for you, it's being faithful to yourself and really knowing, again, stepping into the energy, stepping into what you want and, and really going for it and just being and, and making that your faith, like having faith in yourself. All right. So, wow, Libras, we had another jumper. I'm literally just like pick up my deck and they just falling out today. I mean, that makes it easy for shuffling, I guess. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, Libra, Knight of Pentacles. So for you, it's a moving energy. It's time to jump on your horse and get moving. It's time to start the new things and really step into um, and it step into what you want and how you want it. How do you want it to look? Um, and who are those around you that can help you? Because sometimes we, you know, it's very easy for us not to ask for help. And, um, you know, as a Libra, I know that I actually am really, really bad asking for help. So when I do ask people for their help or opinions, like that's kind of a big thing for me. And I don't do that to a lot of people. There's only a few people I will ask help from. And that's, I mean, that's just me. But, you know, I think too, as a Libra, you know, it's all about relationships too. So you don't want to put anyone out or you don't want to like stress anyone out. So, you know, really look at that this week. And I think that's even something too that would be great to just start trying to release because there are people around you that want to help you be successful and you need to let them do that because they want to help you. Right, Libra? That's what you got to do. I'm just talking to myself here. Because, yeah, I'm a Libra's son. <clears throat> All right, let's see. And we got a lilac. First emotions of love. Oh, I love that. I love lilacs. I wish I had some lilacs right now because then it'd be summer and not cold winter outside. Um, so with this, I really think this is all too about just even putting the emotion behind whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish and whatever you're going for and really, um, and, and believing in yourself. I think that's really important. So that brings us to Scorpio. And like I said, anyone that's hanging on here, go ahead. If you want to me to pull a card for you, I can certainly do that. You can use the little question bubble thing next to the comments. If you're on a phone or type it in the comments, if you're not. And then um, make sure to come hang out with me and Madame Pamita on Thursday at 11 Pacific and 2 Eastern. And with that, we'll bring us Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. So we got the Queen of Swords again. So <clears throat> Scorpio, I feel like for you, it's boundaries. 
this is about boundaries. You need to start setting some because, you know, you, um, and I think setting boundaries in a clear way and trying not to, um, do it in a confrontational way because, that will really kind of shut it down fast for you and trying not to get caught up in the emotion, just staying very matter of fact, you know, when you are setting these boundaries, like, look, sorry, this needs to happen now, this needs to happen then, and that's it because I have to get it done or I have to get moving or I need to create this new thing, whatever it has to do with you. And it could be relationships as well, right? You know, you need, we all need to set some boundaries in relationships and that's really good for us and for them as well, because we don't want, you know, we, it's good for people to, you know, we rely on each other, you know, when you're, especially if you're in a relationship, um, you kind of get used to it and it's like not necessarily taking it for granted, but kind of taking it for granted. So sometimes there are things that are going on that the other person just expects you to do, but maybe you really need to kind of move forward and maybe you need to be like, listen, I know I've done this for you before, but that doesn't mean I'm going to do this for you every single time. Like maybe it was a favor, you know, and that could be romantic and a friendship in any type of relationship you're in. So that's really something to think about. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Jane. DJD. All right. So let's pull a, let's see what flower we have for our wonderful Scorpios as they're setting their, their boundaries. We got a, vi a violet again. We keep getting, the there's a whole bunch of cards here. We keep getting the same three. So faithfulness and modesty. And I think this really, again, is having faith in yourself that you're able to do these things and that you're able to set these boundaries and stick to them because that's the most impor important part for sure. So Sagittarius, oh my gosh, what is going on this deck? <laughs> I kind of like jumps, but I caught it. So we're not going to use that one, but all right. What do we got? I feel like it's getting darker and darker. Oh, it's snowing again. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Hello. Hello. All right. So now we have the five of pentacles. So I'm just looking to see what this card, what's going on here? Guys, I don't know what's going on in this card. Oh, this is scarf. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm looking at this, and I'm like, are these knives? Are these chopping things? No, it's a scarf, you idiot. Oh my god. <laughs> maybe he's got a. Maybe he's got a really sharp scarf on. I don't know. <laughs> so, all right, Sag. We have the five of pentacles. You may be, you know, coming up against some resistance. Um, maybe Sag, you want to go somewhere or you want to do something and there's this roadblocks up going up left and right for you, whether it's people or places or things or just whatever's going on in the world. So I think having a backup plan for you, Sagittarius is really important. And you just kind of know that maybe there are things that are going to pop up and why are they popping up? Um, they might be out of your control and we yeah, right. We can't do much about that, but what can we do? Where's the plan B? Where, where can we pivot? Where can we, you know, have a plot twist, right? This week might be a plot twist for you. So just kind of being aware of that and being mindful of the little situations going on around you because they'll affect your big situation. So let's see what flower will help us out here. So we have asters. Oh, I love asters. Elegance and patience. Now that one goes really well. So Sag, I know it's hard and I'm a Sag rising. I get it. It's hard to be patient, but I really do think because these little roadblocks are going to be popping up for you, you just have to be patient and go with the flow. It's fine. It'll all be fine. All right. Now I'm hearing snowmobiles. I don't know. My husband must be putting up. They all love snow snowmobiling and all of that. My son actually went skiing the day after Thanksgiving. I like warm. Hey, Maya Bree Starbuck. How are you? I like warm. I just do. Meanwhile, I live in upstate New York where it's not, it's more cold than it is warm, but I do really like the warm. I'm just saying in case anybody was wondering about that. 
as it's snowing. I was saying, I was telling everyone before when I first got on, I couldn't get down my driveway. I had an appointment for my son, um, and it's like an hour away. Got up so early, and I couldn't get down my driveway. It was so icy. And by the time my husband got all plowed and iced and sanded and whatever, or not iced, sanded and salted, it was too late. So I am here today, and I'm staying home. And welcome for anyone that just hopped on here. So don't remember, uh, don't rem <laughs> don't remember, <laughs> guys, I don't know what's going on today. Don't forget, we do have our Cyber Monday sales going on too. So when we are done here, head to the link in our bio and go on our website. We have all sorts of fun things and, you know, it's a perfect time to grab your um, 2022 subscription as well. So our December issue should be going out very soon, and we are super excited about that. So be sure you are in the know, and you are registered and ready to go for the next issue. So let's see what's next. We have Capricorn. So Capricorn, we have Eight of Cups. So Capricorn, this, you know, this week for you is about choices. What are you choosing? What are also, what are you choosing to leave behind? Because like I said, we, you know, we do have the solar eclipse going on. We do have the new moon going on. Um, it's in Sagittarius. It's that moving energy, that fiery energy. And how are you going to best use that? What is it? You know, you know that you have some choices to make. So sitting with them. Wednesday is a really great day. The energy of the stars and everything are perfect for really sitting down and figuring out what your tensions are and what you want to be going. So it is definitely um, really, really important, you know. I am excited I won a free year in the last contest, so yay. Yeah, my Bri, that's right. Awesome. You are good to go then, like with extra stars on top. I love it. So then... What do I always get? Capricorns. Capricorns. What's your decisions? Let's see what flower will support your decision making this week. Ah, okay. So we have a false indigo. Indigo. Immersion and intuition. Ooh, okay. Capricorn, I love this. Really, really harness your intuition. Pay attention to your intuition. If you're somebody that doesn't pay attention to your intuition, then it's time because Capricorn, we know that you're very business minded. You're like the CEO of the Zodiac, right? But now is really important for you to listen to your gut, tap into your intuition because that's going to guide you what to what decisions you need to make and what things you need to kind of let go of. So that's what I'm saying. If anyone would like me to pull a card for them, then you can go ahead and put it in the little question bubble if you're on a phone or just put in the comments. So, excuse me. That leads us to Aquarius. Oh, Aquarius, what do we have for you today? We have the Hierophant. So the Hierophant, yeah, you know, I think with this card, Aquarius, it's really for you finding, getting advice from somebody that you trust on a situation. Um, or if you are wanting to really learn something new, if if you want to, maybe you want to add something to your business or maybe just even to your life, you want to learn something new, finding a really good mentor, um, finding or a really good um, a group or somebody that's really has people that are going to help guide you and mean well. Um, if it's a situation, looking up to that person that you know that's going to give you solid advice, they're going to give you practical advice and not just coming from an emotional place. So that's really important for you, Aquarius. You need to um, find that place that is going to give you really sound advice and something that you can get direction from and help you to really, you know, see what direction you want to go in. I mean, we are going into a new cycle. So what do you want to bring into this new cycle? What new things? And maybe that will require you learning something. Maybe it's a new course or maybe you are going to get a coach or a mentor or somebody like that. Um, or if that's something you've been thinking about, um, definitely, definitely do that, but kind of do your research first as well. So I see if we have a question. I'm going to just pull, see what flower we have for our Aquarians here. So we got an Amaryllis. Oh, I used to have such a pretty one. Determination and creative achievement. 
That one's so perfect for this, right? So what is it that you want to achieve? What what are you bringing into this next year, right? That is like a creative achievement and be determined, like really like, okay, make that decision. So Aquarius, time to make that decision. So what do we have? All right, Maya Bree, let's get you a card then. Before we move on to our Piscean friends. All right. Ah, there goes everything. Oh, I didn't lose it all though. I'm telling you, these cards I definitely wanted to come out and play. Since we have like a bunch of them, this is the one that jumped out here, this one. So we have Ace of Cups. Ooh, my Brie, Ace of Cups. So for you, it's all about emotion this week and it's about harnessing, bringing in, being grateful for those people in your life that really help you out and that really, you know, maybe there are some new people coming into your life. Maybe you made some new friends or maybe there's other people that you're just getting to know and they are there for you and they are, you know, bringing that excitement of a new friendship, a new love, a new companionship. And it's time for you to just really let it happen. Don't fight it. Let it happen. I think that's really important in like, just don't resist the emotions that are happening going on. This card is so pretty. I love it. And then with the sparkles, it just adds that extra, extra to it, which I'm all about. Um, so yeah, Maya Brie, I really think for you, it's just those great emotions that are coming up and just the people around you that bring those emotions, really harnessing that energy and making sure that you show gratitude to them as well. Maybe you need to reach out to some people that you haven't spoke to in a while, but that are really great and, uh, you know, let them know that they're really great. Right. And also too, it's just about, you know, that filling your cup and just filling your cup with good things. And, you know, what are you bringing into this new year too? You know, I feel like just what emotions do you want to have with this new moon? What emotions do you want to bring in? What are your intentions? Maybe they are, um, you know, maybe they do have to do with relationships and really paying attention to that and really feeling how you want to feel in these relationships and use that as your intention. So that's what I got for you, Maya. That was a good one. That was a pretty card. I like that card. It was very simple, but very pretty. So that brings us to our Pisces. All right, Pisces. For you, we have the three of pentacles. So it's all about teamwork for you. Um, and just working with others. I feel that, you know, maybe you had a project or you have a situation that you've been just trying to navigate by yourself. And that's not really the way to go about it. That's not going to get you where you want. And that's not even going to, you're going to get stuck in that energy. So you really need to bring in some outside resources. And, you know, people who are really grounded, I think are important too, like that pentacles grounded energy. Um, who, you know, and maybe that may even mean if you are working on a team, maybe you need to kind of move some, delegate some, different actions or even make a whole new team. Like I kind of feel like it's like a clean slate, like, okay, we need to start over. We need to do things. So don't be afraid to do that if it pops up. I mean, we never love starting over. And like I was talking about, excuse me, my judgment card that I've been going on and on all weekend. Like it's just one of those things. Like it just gets to the point where you're like, you know what? This is as good as it's gonna get. And this is how it is gonna be. And that's okay. Or maybe you just, like I said, trash the whole thing and start over. Um, if it's possible, sometimes it's not possible. But I think that's that energy that you need to look at, Pisces. Like just the dynamic of things and how you want to make it work and how um, how you can help it flow a little bit better. So get in the flow, Pisces. See, you got, you have your little fish hanging around there. Get those fish flowing. All right. Let's see what flower we have. We have a gladiola. So strength or character, moral integrity. Um, so I do love that. And I love that it's just, you need to be strong. You need to stand in your, your strength 
and really just know what needs to be changed, what doesn't need to be changed, how you can work with people better, how the team can work together better, and just standing into that. So that little gladiola is telling you it's time to do that. So yeah, so everyone, we just got through the whole zodiac. Woo woo. And um, if you want me to pull a card for you right now, would be the time. So let me know. And, um, you know, like I mentioned before, Madame Pamita is going to be here on Thursday. And we're going to be chatting about just all things magic. She does all sorts of, she does a lot of Slavic magic, which is really awesome. Um, and she has a shop as well. So um, I get a, most of, I do a ton of candle spells. I get a lot of candle spells from her um, her shop. Um, and, and candles rather. So she'll be here at 11 Pacific and 2 Eastern. So you want to check that out. Be, be sure to head over to our website and check out what sales we have here for Cyber Monday. And, um, and also too, I hope you have a fantastic new moon in Sagittarius with the solar eclipse going on. Big intentions, guys. Put those hopes and dreams out there. See what you want to bring in. Really sit with it. What is it you want to bring in and call it in and let go of anything that's no longer serving you. So that's how I will end today. And I am here every Monday, 9 Pacific, 12 noon Eastern. So be sure to come join me, come by and say hello and um, make sure to have your notifications on for when we do have other things going on and also when I pop on. All right, guys, have a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, wait. Okay. Oh, Safira. I'll get you hard. All right. I'm going to just pull Safira a card real quick. That was good timing. I almost clicked it off. So I'm saying goodbye, but I'm not saying goodbye. I'm going to pull Safira a card real quick. That was such good timing. Like my hand was like going towards the little X. All right, girl. Let's see what we got for you. Bye, Lisa. Bye, Pamela. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. So Safira, you have... You have a lot of things brewing right now and really it's time for you to take action and get them done. Um, just kind of like all these little pentacles are just kind of sitting and doing their thing. Like you kind of have, you know, all of your projects, all the things that you need to get done are where they need to be, but it's time for you to start digging in and doing it and getting it done um, and kind of lighting that little fire underneath you. And you know, sometimes it's a little easier said than done. But I think that it's really, I love you too. I think it's really important. And I think that even, you know, sometimes when we have a lot of stuff to do all together um, or just even things going on, it's really um, overwhelming, right? So pick the thing that pops in your head first and go with that. Get it done, mark it off, and then give yourself a pat on the back like, yay, I just got that done, even if it's just sending an email. You know, so I think it's just making it fun and just like do it, do it. <laughs> get out your I do love you. Yes, it's time to get the. You have so many little things ha like going on, and it's time to do that because then that leaves room for more stuff, some more great things to happen, and then you have that satisfaction of checking it off your list. So yeah, that's what I got for you. And um, hey, Kathy. So yeah, so now I'm really ending. I'm done now. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. All right, bye.